Hey guys, what's going on? It's FTJ making a video. Um, something I wanted to do uh, a couple months ago, I just never got around to it. Like I said, I have a couple um, days of free time to kind of get caught up and do stuff that I always wanted to do. Uh, so for this one, it's going to be a Panini Pinnacle 2013-14 NBA, my like ultimate collection. It should be about roughly two hobby boxes. And a couple of these fast break cards that were really popular when I first got started uh, making videos. You used to get one pinnacle hobby pack in each box. So what a lot of people found out, including myself, while we were making videos uh, for these, they were probably I think like 12 or 13 maybe $15, is that the pinnacle was the one that was giving the most autographs and mem cards. Uh, so right now you'll see I had at one point, what's that, eight boxes of them. I probably had like double of this, maybe like 15 or 16. I just kind of consolidate everything into these eight or kind of put them in the hobby boxes uh, and just crammed everything together because I, I was collecting a lot. I liked them because you were hitting a lot of good stuff in them. Uh, so this just kind of shows you an idea. This, what I have in here, probably just the Prestige and Harby, um, but I'm not going to go through those, maybe I'll do that in another video, um, but I can't, and actually there's football cards in there too, so I must have just used these to like cram everything in, but just to give you an idea, um, this is kind of the amount of fast break packs that I had bought, that's why I tell everybody in my other video is like, this stuff can cost a lot if you're into uh, collecting, um, because look at this, this is eight boxes times I think it was fifteen dollars, uh, or or maybe like like fifteen times fifteen dollars. That alone is probably like uh, I don't know a couple hundred dollars. So just to give you an idea how much cost you can be to collect and maybe even make videos, um, but like I just want to kind of show. And at the same time, I have some supplies like some of these and some of these. I'll, I'll figure. Like I said, I never really got around to repackaging stuff up uh, into their sleeves uh, to make sure it lasts long and, and stuff like that or doesn't get damaged but uh, this first is just to give you an idea of how many cards I have bought like I said it was a really good collection I'm a big basketball fan uh, and Panini back then were giving you two autographs and one mem card on average um, sometimes you hit three and like I said these pinnacles you were hitting a lot of autographs in, in the, in the um, packs on these so just to give you an idea, this is these were ten packs per box, so that's like twenty packs I bought. Then another, let's say, fifteen packs uh, coming from these. So that's pretty heavy. So I kind of consolidated them down. Now I probably should have spent a little bit more time before this video, but it's probably easier to do it in one shot. Um, so this is pretty much pinnacle. I'll go through the base cards. How I had separated it um, prior a couple months ago to making this video because I always wanted to do it. I kind of got started um, is that I separated base cards, um, rookie cards, inserts, jersey cards, autographs, um, and hits, uh, numbered cards, or short print cards. So I, I, it should be roughly already separated, but I'll go through some of the regular base cards um, from 2013-14. Uh, Marquise Teague, Brooke Lopez, Jason Kidd, um, Jared Jack. Just, just to give you an idea what you were getting as base cards uh, in there. These aren't the rookies, like I said, I separated those already. But these are some of the players. Um, Jameer Nelson, J.J. Redick, Blake Griffin, um, Chris Humphreys, Steve Blake, Jeremy Lamb, Paul Pierce. Uh, and I know this, like I said, everybody was doing these fast break packs um, when these were really popular back then. Um, like when I started making videos. Uh, Gibson, Robert, Oscar Robertson, Jared Jack, um, Manu Bold, more Jason Kidd, more Brooke Lopez. So I have a lot of duplicates, obviously. Uh, I think eventually what I'll do, um, I, it was a little bit of a hassle to kind of maybe separate them in team. I know everybody wants their own team and stuff. What I think I'll do for a giveaway um, when I decide to, I'll, I'll make a separate video. I'm just going to grab like this, one, two, three, four, like 20 cards, make a pack, 
uh, and just give them away randomly like that. I think it, it took too much time, and um, what I found out is, let's say there's 30 NBA teams, you would only get requests for maybe like five teams. So I'm like, all right, so I end up with 25 teams left over. So I think what I'll do, I'll make it almost like a panini opening, whatever, like just put in random cards in, in packs, 20 cards in each pack or something like that. Just give away like 20 packs of 20 cards uh, to the first 20 people that, that asked for them. So, because like I said, it would be too too time consuming, and then like you would have like maybe five people asking for Cavaliers cards, and maybe one person asking for you know um, Nets cards or Knicks cards and and stuff like that. So I think what I might do, I mean, people might not be happy, or you could just let me know which route I should go. Um, is I think I'll just go grab twenty, make a pack, grab another twenty, make a pack, and just kind of send them out that way. And it's kind of like it'll be cool. To see what you get in your own pack, they're all going to be different. Um, but uh, let me just kind of keep going. Just show, I'm not going to do all the base cards, obviously, because that would take forever. Uh, but just to give you an idea of what you're getting: Kirk Heinrich, Chain, um, Mario Chalmers, Thaddeus Young, Monty Ellis, John Smith, another Oscar Robinson. Like you can see, another Jared Jackham already hitting it. Manute Ball again, Jason Kidd again, Brook Lopez again, Christian Leitner again. Um, Elisova. So you can see another Jaggy, right? I was getting into um, a lot of duplicates. So I'm just going to kind of grab those out just to kind of separate them. Um, but I'm not going to go through every single base card. I know everybody's going to want to see the hits and the autographs. And there are really good stuff in here. And I still might look on blowout cards and get more of this. Patrick Ewing. Um, you know, so there's a lot of stuff in here like i said it's gotta be like 30 or 40 packs worth of cards that i had bought magic johnson uh shack um so those are just some of the base cards uh i probably won't take them out but i just want to make sure i'm not grabbing uh some of the the same thing i had an idea of kind of you know want to do like base cards and rookie cards then um Autograph stuff, but I'm just gonna go in whatever orders in this box. Like I said, I literally just crammed everything that I had in these boxes and put them away. Um, so these I won't go through these because these I just threw, like I said, football cards or the Panini hoops or prestige in there. So I'm just gonna not waste time. I just want to show you a general idea of how much I had spent. Uh, the hobby boxes, I think, let's say fifty dollars. I think those were. Um, I think the thirty, forty, fifty dollars, but I'm just gonna go the higher route and, and say maybe fifty dollars. Uh, and like I said, I might get more. Or you could check on uh, blowout cards yourself and, and see what you get. Um, all right, so these look like they are a mixture of some inserts and and the rookie cards. So uh, I'll go through these a little bit, trying to spend a little bit more time. This is gonna be a pretty long video, but uh, like I said, unless you are a huge fan. Uh, you're probably gonna appreciate this and I think the ones that I had sleeved up were like Rookies that I knew were, were big name rookies, I guess or I, I thought were gonna be um, So you some inserts and they're gonna mainly be rookie cards um, Position powers uh, John Stockton uh, Carl Malone team 2020 uh, Trey Burke 2020 should be Shabazz Muhammad, uh, Norris Cole, Blake Griffin. So these are getting into the rarer cards, not not like short print, but uh, well they are short print, but not like super short print. Um, 20 for 20, Anthony Davis, and some of these are still selling pretty decently. I, I've heard on uh, eBay. So um, like this is kind of I think one of the harder ones to get. Uh, well, Clay Thompson. Uh, Victor Oladipo, another Shabazz Muhammad, Otto Porter, Nerlens Noel, um, De Deion Waiters, 20 for 20, Andre Drummond, Blake Griffin, uh, Position Powers, actually I should probably do a job or justice to myself and put these together with these. Um, position powers, Carl Malone, John Stockton, Larry Bird, Kobe, 
Trying to figure which one was the number one card. Stockton's number three. Kobe was number five. Shaq. Julius. Irving. Dirk. Pete Maravich. Oh, that's a number one card. So there you go. I probably have the whole collection or close to it. I should probably... One of these days, put them in numerical order, see if I have the whole collection. George Gervin. And these now jump into the rookie cards. I might find rookie cards in, in the other box, but for now, I'm just going to go in whatever order I grab them. I won't make the video too long. Ricky Lidio, Ray McCollum, Anthony Bennett, the legend. Uh, Gorgie Dang, Antic, Otto Porter. Ian Clark, Favorani, Got Goodwin, Cannon, Solomon Hill, Rattle Chica, Cannon, Clark, Antic again, Porter again, Boisic, Alan Crabb, Trey Burke, Mason Plumley, Michael Carter Williams, Walters, Harris, Murphy, Jamal Franklin, Favarani, and Goodwin again. So that, those are some of the rookies. And these were the rookies that I thought were good, I guess, so I sleeved up. Oladipo, Adams, Dennis Schroeder, McLemore, Giannis, Antetokounmpo, who is doing amazing jobs. That's why you never give rookie cards away. Uh, Nerlens Noel, Michael Carter-Williams, Solomon Hill. Shane Larkin, uh, Ryan Kelly, Contavious Caldwell Pope, who's doing really good on the Lakers too, actually. Uh, Cody Zeller, Antic Cannon, uh, Alex Len, Tony Mitchell. I feel like my camera's not, is acting up somehow. Uh, Karasev, Alan Crabb again, Walters again, Covington again, Glenn Rice Jr., Otto Porter, Ian Clark, Trey Burke. I don't want, I'll stop saying all the names because they're just going to be duplicates. Kelly Olenek, who was really hot last year. So like I said, um, just going in whatever I grab. So this box is kind of complete. Let me see if I can just box these up back together. Bear with me for one second, just to kind of keep everything nice and neat. Um, unless I drop my phone and make a big mess, then I'm going to be upset at myself. Uh, I'll try and get these as best as I can. It looks like I might not. I'll have to fiddle with it afterwards. Um, well, it might work. Or close enough, I guess. just kind of want to get them in there somehow close enough I guess uh, so that was like it that is obviously I think more than 300 cards so I just kind of crammed as much stuff as I could in there uh, eventually you know I guess I'll I guess I should have okay so these are the uh, autographs and stuff uh, let me see how I did this without dropping my phone and making a big Loud mess. These are probably, like I said, just more base cards. There was a ton of uh, base cards. Um, some more rookie cards. Maybe I, yeah, maybe I have to go back and still, <clears throat> still kind of do a good job of uh, making sure. Well, there, I actually, I, I am missing. I might be missing a lot more, so I might have to make a video number two. Um, but these are base cards, not even rookie cards, not even inserts or anything like that. So I'm just going to grab those to make sure. Yeah, just more base cards. Uh, another Oladipo. Uh, so these are more inserts too. Um... I, can't, I don't think they're the autographs yet, so I think I'm good. So, yeah, these are the lower print um, ones. Uh, Alan Crabb, 
parallel um, rookie card. It says museum collection. I don't know what, exactly what that means. Uh, and these get, start looking really cool. Some of these are still worth some money on, on uh, eBay. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll ever put them up. But uh, David Robinson. Uh, Trey Burke. Rookie Parallel. Joe Ken Noma, Noah Bang. Big Man of the NBA. Um, this one's probably obviously worth some money too. LeBron James Janfest. Uh, Mason Plumley, rookie parallel, bang, Al Jefferson, Jam Fest, Terrence Ross, Blake Griffin, Z Team. These aren't even numbered, but they're still like kind of short print. Um, Paul George, Bradley Beal, Marcus Morris. Derek Rose. So, like I said, this collection had some really nice stuff in there. Uh, Haslam. Dominique Wilkins. And this one is another is one of the more short print. I don't think I missed it on the other ones. But um, when it says artist proof, that one's even a shorter print. Um, and worth even more money. Uh, these artist proof of Kobe... And Kyrie, these were selling for a decent amount. I want to say maybe close to a hundred dollars, um, but like I said, I never collected when I was a kid. I'm not not ready to make money off of stuff. I'm right rather keep it. So the card without the artist proof was like maybe fifty bucks. With the artist proof, because it makes it super super short print, was um you know really more uh more valuable. Another Jam Fest, um, Enos Cantor. Nate Walters, Rondo, um, another one that might be worth something now, Russell Westbrook since he won MVP, and Tony Parker on the back. Um, but why I tell a lot of people, I know everybody wants cards and I have to figure a way to do it, to give them away, but that's why sometimes you don't give away cards because you never know, like, if I gave that away... Uh, a couple months ago, you know, before he won MVP, you know, unfortunately, uh, I would be out, you know, with a good card, a valuable card. Jeremy Lamb, another Derrick Rose, Bradley Beal, Nick Young, Paul Pierce, uh, Bang, Haslam again, Paul George Jamfest, Blake Griffin, uh, another artist proof rookie card well he didn't really do anything so that might not be worth anything uh Kawhi Leonard artist proof uh Lance Stevenson artist proof Dennis Schroeder artist proof David Lee Olenek rookie card artist proof uh Avery Bradley Cephalosa Gervin uh and now it's getting into even shorter uh prints short prints uh, green artist proof Damian Lillard seven to twenty five, um, Kareem Abdul Jabbar artist proof, uh, Carmelo artist proof really uh, valuable one, Tony Allen team twenty twenty, um, some more of the short prints but not really too. Valuable. I hate to use the word valuable because it makes it sound like I'm out for money. Uh, Chandler Parsons, Clay Thompson. Just in case that was off screen. Um, Vucevic, Schroeder, Harris, Draymond Green, Anthony Bennett. Position powers. Walt Chamberlain, Duncan, Iverson. That's a good one. And a lot of these I still I never gave them away too because I, I still want to put these up or most of them up on uh, Instagram. Uh, actually, you know what? This one I'll definitely put in the sleeve. I'm forgetting to sleeve some of these up because Iverson is Iverson. Walt Chamberlain I'll put because that's Walt Chamberlain. I should put Duncan too. Might as well. And even Larry Bird. Um...
Okay, I just want to see if my camera was going to go over 20 minutes. Uh, Larry Bird, Shaq, Scoring Kings, Elvin Hayes, Alex English, George Gerving, some really nice one, Dennis Rodman, Magic Johnson. Uh, like I said, these, actually, I think behind the numbers are like one of the, you can tell like, <coughs> behind the numbers was only like two cards and like all these uh, boxes and stuff. So that'll give you an idea out of like 35 packs. I think I got only two. I might have got more. Uh, just give you an idea how short these are to George Gervin, uh, the Scoring Kings. Um, those are really short print. Because you'll see like how many of those have I shown so far. Not not too many. Um, Awaiting the Call, Vince Carter, Steve Nash, Tim Duncan. Those are all like only three. Um, Alright, I'm getting into autographs and stuff. Let me just see, go over some more stuff and then. Uh, a couple more rookie cards, and I think pretty much I uh, have autographs, jersey cards, which I know I'm missing one. Uh, so somehow I might have to make a second video because I know I'm missing a couple of things. Uh, unless I pause it and then uh, go take a quick look. Uh, or I thought it would be in one of these. Because I have a Kobe jersey that should be around somewhere. Um, anyway, uh, these are just kind of rookies and more base. I won't go over them too much. Uh, it's just going to waste time. And the video is running out. And it's just more rookies and stuff. Alright, so that's just more... And if I find that I do have more, uh, I'll try and make a second video or maybe just include it in, in my second jersey card. Um, it's so annoying because I, I know I'm missing a lot of autographs. Um, you know what, that sucks. I'm going to have to make a second video. On a second, pause this real quick. And, and Well, let me just kind of start with these. These were like really short ones too. Um, these were, you know, clear vision. Uh, I guess before Claire Vision was its own line of cards. Um, it went by first, second, third, fourth quarter, and I think overtime, maybe double overtime, but I don't know. I uh, can't remember. Uh, so first quarter, Elijah on, they're blue. Uh, Tobias Harris, uh, first quarter. Uh, Chris Humphreys, first quarter. And... Mason Plumley, upstarts, rookie card, parallel, and it's an event worn jersey. I'll pause the video and see if I can find my uh, other stack. I have a lot more autographs and stuff. I just, for some reason, thought everything was here. Uh, Lamon Murray, uh, this was, uh, I guess. A five of ninety nine. Maybe I'll do it that way. Uh, Tyson Chandler when he played on the Knicks. It would have been awesome if it was six of ninety nine. Uh, and Lindsey Hunter, number one. Is it number one card or number one? Oh, okay, number who wore number one? Okay. Uh, let me see if I can pause it real quick. Hold on. So guys, I'm back. Uh, I couldn't find my other autographs from Pinnacle uh, and my jersey cards. I think I have more because uh, I definitely have a lot more. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll end the video here. Uh, if you like it and you're interested <laughs> in seeing the other stuff, when I find out, I'll make a second video. But just to give you an idea of uh, my big collection of Panini and Pinnacle, um... Like I said, it's got to be around 20, 30, 35 packs maybe worth of cards. Um, and I think, like I said, I have so many of them. I think I'll try and cut this down eventually too. So if you like it, like I said, I, I don't know if I'll necessarily do it in teams. It takes a little bit of time, but maybe I'll just kind of um, package them up, packs of 20, and then uh, send them out to who wants it. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Uh, have a nice weekend.